make you mine up. Girl, I love you plus I never make you mine up. If I let you smoke it, you gon' lose my lighter. If you paranoid, then I'ma spend the night up. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up, girl? I'm Ivory. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I noticed I haven't vlogged in a minute. I know, I know. Sometimes, often, if I don't vlog right away, it could be months, maybe years, maybe weeks, whatever, before I pick this camera back up again. I'm trying to get back into the habit of trying to be consistent. And I definitely said in my last video I was gonna be consistent, but I'm life be life man but we're just gonna keep rolling through we're gonna keep rolling through it so right now i'm in the preparation of getting my clothes and stuff ready because i'm going to jamaica in a couple of days i'm going to jamaica for my best friend's birthday her 30th birthday she finally turned 30 welcome to the hot sexy 30s no, that's right um and so i'm really excited i've never been to jamaica so you know that awkward like phase before a trip where you're kind of excited yet you're nervous yet you're scared that's how i am and in full transparency i am also starting my cycle i'm on day two so i'm kind of a little bit irritable i'm kind of bitchy i'm kind of full-blown moody and i'm hungry so with all of that going on i'm trying to get in a good mental space to be super excited and hype about this trip. But y'all, and I tried to do this vlog like a couple of days prior to um, me actually doing my hair, but it just turned out a hot mess. You can see the footage. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put the footage in here now. Now, I don't know why I thought I could move this. And now. Well then, so after that, I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna vlog today. I'm just gonna do it another day. So this is that day. Um, nothing much is going on today. I did just come back from the library. I took back a book that I was reading. It was really good and I'm a slow reader, y'all. Not a slow reader in the sense of like, I'm reading slow. I'm a slow reader in the sense of like, I need to find time to actually read. And I hadn't been doing that. Like I was doing it here and there. Um, but after work, I just be exhausted from looking at anything. And oftentimes I let the TV watch me. And I have sleep for dinner because I'm just that exhausted. But I'm kind of bummed. The book was getting really good. Um, for those who want to know, the book is called A Return to Love. And it's like, a uh, course through miracles i'll put the whole title down below here or whatever um but it was starting to become a good book and it was kind of like a self-love book and i thought before i even like rented out the um, library i thought it was going to be about like a book is just mainly about love i'm a lover girl at heart so i love anything about love i love knowing about it how to be better at it finding it though i don't really need help finding it i just like to read about it um, but it was mainly like a self-love book, but also a return to love with um, your relationship with God and how God comes in and like if you literally just give your worries and your cares and like literally anything that's dampening your mood or dampening your life to him, it's all gravy. And I know that. I'm a Christian. I know that. Um, I would say in my religion journey... I'm not like a holier than now Christian. I'm very much like, I know God is real. God has been working through my life. God has given me miracles in my life. Um, I would not be here without God. And I'm just trying to, this year specifically, 
have a better relationship with God because I have been slacking. There are moments and times, to be real honest with y'all, there's been moments and times where I've just been like, I don't even know who to turn to. Other people are not working. Therapy is not working, though I'm a big fan of therapy. Um, but I really just need to pray, talk to God, tell him how I'm feeling, you know, and be quiet, be still in those moments. And I'm still really working on that. Um, so even though I have to return the book back, I see myself buying the book because that's usually kind of how it goes. I finished the book once I rented it from the library and then I just buy it to add it to my collection. And you see my collection is not that big because... I read, but I'm gonna be reading, reading. Like, I'm not gonna fake kick it and say like, you know, I'm a bookworm, like, give me a book. No, <laughs> I like to read books, uh, but it's not all that I want to do, you know? Cause I could just be napping or laying poolside, you know? But sometimes I wanna look interesting. I wanna be, escape the world other than through TV um, and creating, and I just wanna read a book. and. I'm definitely going to buy that book. I'm definitely going to buy the book. So right now, after coming back, I'm going to work out because I think that will help my mood. Because like I said, I've been feeling a little bitchy. I've been feeling bitchy. And I don't like feeling that way at all because it will just ruin my entire week. And we can't have that just because we can't have that because I'm going to Jamaica, okay? And I want to get any last bit of time I can with trying to get this figure and shape. Ugh. Ugh. We are here in Jamaica. It's been a couple of days since before life was life as per usual, but we made it. This is the room. Cute quaint, nothing too crazy. It's very spacious. And now the big thing is to eat because I'm starving. I have not eaten. Uh, well, I had a I had something. I had a little something at the airport, but I'm sorry. It's been hours. And the thing about all inclusive food, I'm not really expecting the best, but I'm expecting something edible. But at this point, I just want something edible. I don't shower, got the bathing suit on, cover up. And yeah, now I'm ready to go. So I had to, you had to change, because apparently you cannot wear swimwear or cover-ups at the dining hall, but it's a resort. You know, many times you can. How does that work? It don't, it don't. So now we're on our way to the buffet. Um, There are a lot of stray cats. Jamaican stray cats, that's interesting. I just saw one. I wonder, do they speak Jamaican? That's why. Oh, look, thank you, thank you. That's why. I may not be it. No? I think it is. For some reason, I feel like See, she, there's that's already a cat right there. That's the same cat. Oh, it's two. There's two. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to be able to touch. The main one, when we get back, gravy. 
Look at that set. Girl, you touching these damn straight cats. Oh, what be wrong with them? Because that vegetable that you want to do we were in there for, okay? Mm. I was like, oh, it's mm -hmm. I mean, like, matcha normally has caffeine, but it was like a different one. I was like, whoa, my legs shake. I was like, hold on. I didn't have no caffeine. I slept through half of that second flight. You know that moment where I eat with my eyes? So, though I've been hungry all day after finally eating, I'm cool. I'm cool. Like, I am good, but have me another beef patty and I'm a horse meat and I'm a pork chop but for the most part it's okay it's okay and it's been crazy to complain about um I wonder can we even still get in the pool now like it, it's nighttime but I'm thinking about drinking <laughs> I'm gonna have a good old time out of that because we have to put on uh, actual clothes to be in the garden so that's why I have it on top of my swimsuit and teens. Um, I have a feeling that I'm gonna be having on this with a lot of fucking new guys. But that's okay. That's alright. We're all here for the experience. So, now, let's get into some drinks. All right, we're gonna cheers in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to play no damn chess. I know, right? I always wanted to know how to play chess. Oh, always. Okay. All right. I always wanted to know. I'm gonna teach all of y'all. No, you gonna teach all of us. Water, we need to take a shot. Hi. 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 
There is, but somebody's in there. Yeah. So I'll just be circulating. Wait, oh, we, oh, oh, we already got it in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Arriba, abajo, barrito, Yeah, I think he was throwing up. We can go that quick. Oh, right there. He said, it is what it is. I mean, you were just farting. You was just talking to every American girl you can get your eyes on, so. Yeah, we caught him when he was like in his like like prime. He's like, I'm feeling myself. Now he's but in now, that. It's the after. I'm like, what y'all feel him too? It's the after. You saw me get up. One thing, you learn about vomit. It's not my, because my body rejects the idea of vomit. Yeah. balcony um, and it's really nice outside we don't have much of a view out of this wall 
But if you look here, uh, but if you stay looking here, you got something. <laughs> you got something. Not bad. Not that bad. Palm trees. Yes. See them blowing in the wind. We, yeah, we, nice. we got ASMR from the palm trees. Absolutely. We probably could use some more like, like lighting, I think. Yeah. To make things more dramatic. Yeah. And then today's agenda, we have dispensary. We're going to go off the resort. I don't know why I keep wanting to say campus. We're gonna go off the resort place and then go to the dispensary. Maybe check out one of the stores out there and then come back here. I think she said she wanted to go to a club tonight or whatever that place is called. Call, I think it's called 2727. So we shall see. We shall see. I am hungry. I already feel kind of like my headache trying to research. And I think it's just water again. And I need to eat. Bring cash when you go to Jamaica. Well, yes, bring cash when you go to Jamaica. It's much appreciated. See these hardworking people at the resort who, from last night's party, child, they must have had some type of turbo energy in them because they've been, they were dancing from seven to what, 11.30? To 12. Non-stop. Sweating it all. And they were going full out. Full out performances. Crazy. These are like I'm be showing up at the food. So, we got, it's buffets every day in this place. So, this is a whole week. Beef sandwich. What is this? Ham and cheese. Okay. Then that's usually the salads over there. Apples. Usually here is like burgers, chicken tenders, nachos, something there, there, something over here. Let me just look. We got that. That. It doesn't really fully crazy. Like you're never gonna. I don't know. There's something always different. Though. So yeah, let me make me a plate. We're all leaving the resort. We're making it. Praise them. We're going to see what's outside. Outside these walls. Outside these walls. I don't know. Period. Period. So, Jasmine. So, the guy told me. There you go. Hi, guys. My name is Nastasia. Oh, thank you. Welcome to her channel. Yeah. So we're gonna try the rum punch. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is already made, guys. So only thing you have to do is just put some ice. I said, hold on. Yeah. We'll get that in now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. We just we do a lot of coffee. So yeah. KFC. I have to go KFC. <laughs> it sells more than any other KFC in the world. Ah. Uh, Worldwide. This Why? More oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that is very random. Right here, that's a beach park. She needs it, try. Dinner, and I'm trying to think 
if I should even put on makeup right now. I just have concealer on. It is so hot and like humid here. It's really, to be honest, no point in doing so. I look crazy right now. Um, there's no point in doing so. My eyebrows barely want to lay. Like, look. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just like, really, really, um, yeah. I'm just like really dewy right now, which I don't mind. I don't mind being dewy. I don't. I don't. But I don't want to be dewy all the time, you know? I'm kind of like a mad girl. Some occasions, but that shower felt great. Like I said before, we do it. It's the resort has not resort. Yeah, no, the resort has like a buffet, so it's all inclusive. So it's like every night they have something different, but it's kind of like the same type of thing. And I was just telling my friends like maybe I'm just not a buffet girly. You know, maybe I don't know. I just I like I don't know. I don't know what it is but I can't get jiggy with it fully, you know? Um, so today, instead of, tonight, well, rather, instead of like going to the actual buffet place that we always go to, we're gonna go to the Asian fusion spot that's like right, right next door to it. So we'll see how that goes. And then tonight we're gonna try to go to the club or the lounge. I'm not really either any type of really of that nature. But when you make a, you know, you want to do low thumb thumb. Um, earlier, we went to a dispensary and we saw this place that we thought we wanted to go to. I'm not sure if we're still going to go to. Called 2727 or whatever. And it had breathtaking views, but it got me there. Um, it's just that for, like, they were talking about VIP and, like, regular and like for VIP baby girl, well, there was no more VIP, but what was left over was standing room and a small table, like the tables was like, maybe this, maybe this big. And there's standing tables where you stand. And she said it were for 220 for the upstairs. And if we wanted the downstairs, it would be 184. Standing for four, four to five hours. don't want to do that and I don't know what's been going on like the heels of my feet baby they have been kicking my ass like they've been letting me know that they hurt all the time and I think it's just because my feet are just used to being like something thicker and I've been wearing these flat ass sandals shout out and my feet do not like it do not they do not they don't like it and I don't like it for them either but I'm gonna try to make it two to two. I'm going to just do a quick, probably just gonna do my brows again and spot conceal and do some conceal under here and some mascara. Last night I put on whole freaking lash and everything. And to be honest, I should never do that. Cause it was just so hot and it was in the dark. So I want my skin to breathe a little bit more each day. I'm just not having nothing on it because when it's hot and sticky, you don't want to show me. We don't. We don't. And I think, I hate to say this, but could I be pina colada out? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I've had a pina colada like every day. Maybe like two per day. And I think today I've only had one. And then I had a Bob Marley. A lot of shots at um, this place off the resort. I'm tired of drinking. By the time I get home, baby, I'm drinking some water, okay? I'm gonna make something about drinking water with some lemon, some tea, a detox. I don't wanna see beef, no beef patties, no plantains, no jerk chicken, no steamed vegetables or something like that of that nature for a minute. I'm good, i let me have me have me a salad. Yeah, this place got me excited about KFC. <laughs> KFC, and they say that the KFC is the best KFC nationwide. What? 
I guess I'm going to have to turn it on. Hi. So, as you notice, uh, the vlog just ended abruptly. Um, so, let me just catch you up as to what happened after I was getting ready. Um, long story short, the girls, we decided to go off the resort to go to that KFC located downtown. That was supposed to be the notorious KFC, you know, the best worldwide, worldwide. Um, and long story short, it went totally left. We had a driver from the resort um, who took us there um, and he seemed one way in the daylight and at night child, he was totally different. Um, this was a different driver than the one we had earlier who took us to the dispensary um, and the lounge and the other store that we went to. So this was a totally different guy. And we got out of the car and immediately things just went kind of left. Um, as we were approaching, walking into the place, the, the line on the drive through was crazy long. And for some reason, I just thought when we had a driver, he would wait for us or want to drive through with us especially because we were paying him but anywho um we got inside and while well while we were making our way inside we were getting harassed um and i mean cat calling is not normal it's not a thing that i want to say like oh it's gonna to like you should just accept it like no um but this was a different type of cat calling i actually felt just like very much harassed a little bit assaulted in a way um made me highly uncomfortable immediately i felt uncomfortable for, for my friends and i felt like i needed to like step in and like protect them but by doing so i just wanted to kind of maintain the cool um maintain my cool even though i felt highly triggered um from, from some past stuff uh so we still walked inside and it felt like a scene of get out, some type of eerie shit where they all collectively turned their head to see who was walking in. And it was probably all men, maybe one woman and another woman, including the cop. And the cops that were in there were like two cops. They had large guns. And that part didn't scare me because it was like, protect me. Um, the part that kind of made me think like, this is not still cool is that... The person who was in my ear and talking to a guy and like just making me feel highly uncomfortable um, was not stopping, even though the police was there. So that made me kind of feel like, you know, us Americans, I don't think we're going to win in this situation. We're all women. Let's go. And I immediately called up the driver and was like, yo, can you come pick us up, please? Um, and he said, sure. We got in a car. We let him know that um, we were uncomfortable. And I think. I felt immediately his whole demeanor change. Like he went from like this to like hunched over. He was driving back crazy. Um, and we still ended up going to the other KFC that was located near the resort, which was like maybe two to three minutes walking distance from the resort. But they kept suggesting that people don't walk because they were saying like people were getting hit by cars. But it's like, baby, if you're from Chicago, you know how to Jay walk and you'll be fine. But we trusted it, whatever. Oh, mind you, this entire thing that happened was going on during the nighttime. So, um, we went to the KFC, the other KFC near the resort. And to be honest, it just wasn't worth it to be, in my opinion, because it was still crowded and everything. Different environment, didn't feel like we were being harassed or anything. It was just not, it was just not the place to be. Um, so we ended up getting the chicken and you know what? KFC is just not worth it. Wet ass chicken is not worth it. I don't eat KFC when I'm in Chicago. So we only kind of went because in the desperation of we were just tired of the resort food and there was only KFC and Burger King that was near there fast food wise. Um, but it just wasn't worth it. So for the last day, I ended up not, um, look at the sun. Okay, let me back up right here. Oh. Okay, the sun's gonna do its thing, but okay, light in, okay, okay. But anywho, just to wrap that part up, we got back to the resort and we decided to chill, you know, debrief, wild as hell. And as far as the next day, I just decided not to record because I just wanted to enjoy the last day on vacation. But it was a great one. We ended up um, actually having dinner off the resort, but we decided 
it's probably very safe just to have um, dinner when it's kind of still light outside. That would be the most wisest thing to do. So we did that. Um, I booked a place and we went to this place called Sugar Meal Restaurant. Um, I'll put the title down here. Um, it was really nice. It was very, very classy. Um, on the way there, uh, we found out that it was located on this place called the Half Moon Terrace. And it's actually where uh, the Queen and um, the Royals, when they come in to stay in Jamaica, that's where they stay. So I was like, Ali. <laughs> yeah. So it was really great. The food was amazing. Like, amazing. I'm going to put clips in so you guys can see. Um, and the chef was so nice. Everybody was just so nice and kind. Um, and the chef kept giving us complimentary food and we love free. <laughs> um, it was just really such a great experience to top off the entire trip. So yeah, that is it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching me. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm still trying to get back in the swing of things of vlogging because girl, I'm a little bit out of practice, especially vlogging like a whole trip, but I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. I thank you so much for watching me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye girl.